Our mobility behavior will change dramatically in the next few years. Automated driving, electrification, car sharing, that's the way to the future. With this change in mobility, there are completely new demands on the entire automotive market. What that means for the industry and how to manage these challenges, I am talking today in Frankfurt to Uwe Grebe and Kai Vogt, members of the board of AVL. My name is Martin Roos. Welcome to the Business Debate. Mr. Grebe, Mr. Vogt, welcome. The automotive industry is changing dramatically. There are a lot of challenges and it's quite uncertain which technology will dominate in the future. Mr. Grebe, what do you think? It's absolutely right. The automotive industry is facing an unprecedented change. Um, it's about the propulsion systems, clean mobility and uh, mobility that is uh, CO2 acceptable or neutral. And uh, in addition, there is autonomous um, functions entering and connectivity, where it's all about a seamless operation, but also a seamless connection to the consumer. We're talking about different technologies, combustion engine, battery, fuel cell. What are actually the advantages of these technologies, Mr. Vogt? Well, combustion engines are around for a long time. Supply chains and the product is very much optimized right now, so it can be reduced, produced in high volumes and at low cost. And with the help of electrification and technology, we can make it basically zero emission impact relevant. Yeah? On the other hand, we have battery electric vehicles, which, which offer a very clean feeling when driving and which still suffer from, from range and infrastructure problems. But these are also problems which can be overcome. And on the other hand, we see in the long run, we see technologies like fuel cells. Yeah? So we will have this variety for the next decades, this is sure, and all technologies will play a role. And the complexity which is created out of that is something what the whole automotive industry needs to manage. You are a big supplier in the automotive market. How can you help your customer to manage this big process, this big change? The future is highly unpredictable and there is no one solution that fits all. It is all about the combination of the combustion engine with the electric motor. They are very synergistic and we are working on the elements that go into such a propulsion system and their integration into the entire vehicle. But behind that there is a much bigger challenge and the development process and managing this complexity in the development process is a huge challenge for our customers. And we are also That's contributing true. with integrated tool chains and open development platforms, which make it possible for our customers to do this development in a very easy way. You put the end consumer in the middle of your solutions. How is it possible to balance energy, driver comfort and performance? What matters to the, the end consumer, to the driver, is of course the entire experience, this user experience in the vehicle. And of course it's important to have a low consumption, but it's also about drive and feel, it's about ride comfort. And uh, what we do is, first of all, we make very subjective feelings transferable into a technical world of measured data and therefore offer the possibility that already in the definition phase and in the development phase in a mathematical environment you can optimize these attributes of the vehicle for best consumer experience. You talked about simulation, you are a big specialist for simulation and testing. How is it actually possible to test efficiently the integration of these three components? There is a big dream in this industry and this is called front loading. So the big dream is basically to develop a car purely in simulation and then build the car and it should run flawlessly. Yeah? But in reality we will need a very, how should I say, proven and robust process in order to transfer the experience from the driver on the road downstream into the whole development process. And for this we provide simulation tools and platforms which really make it possible to do this work in a very, very efficient way. The big trends are digitalization and autonomous driving. What are your answers to this big trend? 
So let's start with digitalization. And digitalization has two aspects. One is digitalization of the product itself. That means being all of the interface into, into the connected world. But the other aspect of digitalization is digitalization of the development process. And this means model-based development. And we provide tools, for example, which can create meaningful data, which can be used in simulation to make the whole process more efficient. This is one of the contributions we have into the area of digitalization. So everything is connected actually in the world, in your world. What is your role? How do you play in this connected world? We are a big part of this connected world, especially when it comes to the driver assistance systems up to autonomous driving. We develop software, software for instance for lane keeping or for emergency braking. And we also contribute to the entire development and validation process. So when you think of an autonomous vehicle, there are a lot of uh, cases, use cases that need to be considered. We put this in a mathematical environment and you can run millions of test uh, kilometers in such an environment. But it's also very important that we put this validation on the road. And as AVL, we have public roads, autobahn and rural roads, where we can expose autonomous vehicles to, well, the real traffic situation. So uh, finally, gentlemen, what do you think? What does it look like, the mobility of the future? The mobility of the future is definitely exciting. So what we see is a very wide range of different technologies what we, what we have to cope with. It creates complexity on one side, but there are ways out of this and we, have, we are helping to provide it. And overall, as a technology provider, it, it is, in my opinion, one of the most exciting times in this industry right now. So the world is exciting. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you.